Welcome back. It's time to talk fun and games. How about that? Can Java raise the sun back over Sun Microsystems? The company said it's putting half of its entire ad budget behind Java, and last week they formed a game technologies group whose primary goal will be to develop Sun's Java technology in the online games arena. Here now to share with us his strategy in making Sun a player in the online gaming world is Chris Melisinos. He's chief gaming officer at Sun Microsoft. You know, he looks like he'd be the chief gaming officer. I love his chief kid, I think. <laughs> you know, I get that a lot. <laughs> I bet. What a great job for you to have. Good to see you, and you're joining us bright and early. From yes, San well, good morning. Francisco. Yeah, good morning. Tell us about this venture and why Sun, which has certainly not been in this uh, venue before, sees uh, at least potential profits. The reason Sun Microsystems is getting involved in the games industry is because we believe that there are certain expertise that Sun has in building online infrastructure that can assist the games industry today. But there's a perception that Sun isn't really one to go for sort of high-tech, high-fancy graphics. Are you trying to change that perception with this? It isn't necessarily that Sun is trying to change that perception. What we're doing is we're looking at the Java technology that exists in the marketplace today and making game developers and the consumers aware of just how powerful that technology is for things like entertainment and high-performance gaming. Mr. Melisinos, we know that the video game industry is going to be a $30 billion industry by 2005. That's reason enough to jump in. But I have to ask you, some analysts are saying the primary reason you're going into this is just to please your existing telco customers who insist on online gaming. Uh, what's your take on that? The game technologies group that's been formed, which I am the chief gaming officer there, is not going to be focusing specifically on cell phone technology or desktop technology. We're going to be focusing on building the best technologies for game development across all platforms. And uh, we've got one of these games here. It's called Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. I love this. Feel what it is to be immortal. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we want to do that. You know, we've come a long way from Donkey Kong, but let's talk about how much of the strategy is an effort to rekindle your growth by linking yourself ever more closely with Java. The Java technology, which of course was created by Sun, is a um, technology and expertise that we have, which is part of the core um, technology expertise in the company. Coupled with the expertise we have in building these massively connected multiplayer environments, we are going to help bridge all of these Java devices to the flood of online games that will be emerging in the marketplace. So we're going to be, again, combining the expertise we have with the Java platform with our expertise in building these back-end infrastructures to power next-generation online games. Mm -hmm. Mr. Balasinos, this can't be that huge a business. Are there other uh, impacts that this can have in expanding Java that you could actually build a bigger business on? Well, the idea behind games and Java in this space is that games are a natural form of adoption for most consumers. Cons games and entertainment, by and large, are a want, not a need, right? We all need to pay for power and food and cars, but we want to be entertained. That is a much more powerful reason for people to go ahead and spend that money and go ahead and buy those products and services. We believe that the games industry is going to get the benefits of Java for its ubiquitous and cross-platform capabilities Likewise, it's going to accelerate the adoption of Java into consumer devices because that's where the next great, next generation games entertainment will be played on. Well, all right, it's certainly nice to spend some time with a chief gamer. I, I don't know what you do on the weekends, and I don't want to know, <laughs> but uh, you certainly come up with some interesting things, and we'll see if that pays off for Sun. We want to thank you for your time, thank Chris you. Melisinos, thank you. Chief Gaming Officer at Sun Microsystems. I love how that the must look on a shirt. Right. Wow. Love that. Let's all right. On the resume. Well. Uh, we have comments from OPEC ministers that you've been talking about this morning that we're going to have that next for you right here on Wake Up Call.